some of the best material and like the best laughs are when you hear someone talk about something that they struggle with or something that like they think that they do that maybe could be embarrassing or that that like like does anyone else do this or does this make me look like I'm not the greatest person on earth but the thought the action came up and you go like oh god I've done that too you're like it's this human connection I think that's the most like deep organic laugh because I I think real laughter is like a physical response to being overjoyed at feeling understood. And you see this person say something that you're like, oh my God, I'm not the only person who does that. I'm not the only person that sometimes is like, sorry, I'm so emotional all the time. <laughs> I'm like crying. <laughs> but like having someone go like, oh, this this other person has had this silly thing happen that I've had happen that I go, why me, God? And you're like, oh, oh, it's not just me. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <sighs> and if even if only for that, you know, 45 minutes or hour that you're in the show you have the relief it's like there's so much going on in the world that the idea that you could give someone a moment of relief when the world is constantly on fire is such a nice feeling and by I being agree. who we are it's it's nice and it's i don't blessing. know yeah i don't know if you feel this way i think you might maybe but there's also just i never want my comedy to be personal like i go to actual therapy yeah yeah but there is something therapeutic into saying some real true thing about yourself and like hearing people laugh in a way that you know is like they get it and you're like oh we're connecting in this moment just with this energy yeah. and that's nice it's, it's healing. a balance it's like to me it's and i think it's just my personal taste but my my favorite comedy and comedians i enjoy is by the end of their set their hour or whatever it is that i feel like i learn more about them and that either maybe i don't want to hang out with them but i understand <laughs> them more you know what i mean and, <laughs> that's so funny i get you and i need to get away from you <laughs> <laughs> but there's always a balance between like doing comedy for yourself in a selfish manner to just like output your your thoughts on an audience or or, or basically outsource your therapy yeah um, and so i just <laughs> never like to forget what my, my job is ultimately to entertain ultimately to uh provide some type of oasis from how shitty the day is yes and i think that's like important and it's it's fun and interesting to start navigating when you do start going i'm going to talk about this bigger thing and now you've given yourself the challenge of but like i'm not i'm not gonna not do my job so how do i write this how do i talk about this and stay connected instead of just spouting off at the audience that i'm angry because my bones hurt <laughs> <laughs> <Your> bones. <laughs> my bones uh <laughs>